Hello everyone, my name is Kirsty and I'm the Take Root Project Officer at the Kent Wildlife Trust and the aim of my job is to connect people with nature to improve their health and wellbeing. Map detectors aren't always the easiest things or the cheapest things to get hold of, so I thought tonight I'd take you out on a walk with mine. It might be quite dark, but we'll be listening to the sounds of what our map detectors pick up. As the days get warmer, more and more wildlife continue to forage and search for nesting and nursery sites to raise their young. One species doing this in particular is the bat, one of our only true flying mammals. We don't often get to see bats. We often might see them flying silently in our gardens. But all UK bats eat insects, and each species has its favourite type of insect, and it will forage for them and eat them in their own special way. If you've been following our Wild at Home series, you'll know how important it is to have insects in your garden and it will be bats that will be feasting on them long into the night. If you've seen bats in Kent, then you'll notice they are quite quiet creatures. But this evening I'd like to share with you some of the sounds that our common species make. Because although they may appear silent, they are in fact very sociable creatures. Bats communicate and navigate the world around them in an incredible way and it's something that we call echolocation. This means that they locate things using their echo. As they fly, they make shouting sounds. The returning echoes give the bats information about anything that is ahead of them. These sounds are heard at frequencies that we cannot always hear by ear. And different bat species echo locate at different frequencies. And to pick these up, we're going to use a bat detector. So I'm going to begin by checking that my bat detector is working. I patiently wait for it to get dark. And just after sunset, the bats begin to emerge. If you look closely, you can just about see it foraging above me. Making a sound like blowing a raspberry as it forages. This bat's frequency was picked up on my detector as a 46. This suggests it's a common pipistrelle. Let's listen to it again. The next bat I pick up is around 57 on the frequency of my bat detector. This suggests that it could be a soprano pipistrelle. The final bat I hear is what I believe to be a common pipistrelle foraging overhead. So I hope you've enjoyed the sounds of the bats. And next time you're out in the dark and it's quiet, you'll think about the sounds of the bats and how there's so much more than what meets the eye. Help create a Wilder Kent. Text Wilder Kent to 70470 and donate £5 today.